Kadwa, Kusata Kapela, Ikatalati, Jamela Kupara Pare the Kupara Tide, a fellow Zapalata, Ikukalde Parakaida Kadu Zota. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed Ruyama. We give you all the praise in Jesus' mighty name. So, beloved, you are welcome again to another session of our prayer. We are still in the business of reshaping the second half of the year. We have decided from the beginning of this month of this year that the second half of the year must not end in that way in the first half of the year. We experience bad good things in the first half of the year. There are negative, negative things and there are positive things, but we have decided and to ask the Lord, Oh Lord, this second half of the year must be better, better, glorious than the first half of the year because the Lord, the scripture says, he said the end of everything is better than the beginning thereof. That is why we have took upon ourselves to reshape the second half of the year. And that is why today again, we are still in that business. Today, we'll be looking at how to possess our inheritance in Christ. Let me read for you quickly in Colossians, in Colossians, in the Colossians chapter 1 and in verse 12. Colossians chapter 1 and in verse 12 is where we are taking our, our reading from as we begin to pray, as we begin to claim our inheritance. Verse, verse 12 said, giving times on to the Father. Giving thanks unto the Father. He said, giving thanks unto the Father who has made us the meat. Who has given us the privilege by giving us privilege to, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saint in light. When that light, that light means the in Christ Jesus. Blessed, we give thanks to our God. Blessed be the God of our Father, which who which which have made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance in the light. Who has delivered us? Look at what the verse starting to say. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? Then why would the powers of darkness hold us down? Look, deliverance is coming today. We are possessing our possession today. We are inheriting our inheritance. We are taking back our inheritance today. The host of the darkness, enough is enough. You see, who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into uh, us into the kingdom of its dear son which is the kingdom of light remember what the scripture said remember what john said he said the light shined in the darkness and darkness could not comprehend it if you are if we are in the light and we walk in the light, then why would the power of darkness has hold over us anymore? That is why we are coming today to possess our inheritance. The inheritance we have in light, which is in Christ Jesus. Look at verse 14. It says, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of our sin. That's that the sin of the past is no longer counted against us. It's no longer hold or it's no longer holding against us because Christ has come to redeem us through his own blood. Verse 15 says, Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn? of every creature the bottle line where we are crying to the lord the point where we are seeking knocking on every door at this very moment is is in that verse 12 say who have made us made us made us made us need to be partakers of the inheritance of the saint beloved their inheritance for the saints in the light and that is what we are going to claim now in revelation Chapter three, and we, uh, chapter three, or chapter, chapter, chapter three, he said, he said, I have set before thee an open door, an open door, and no man can shut. You're going to open your mouth at this time. You're going to tell the Lord, Lord, I'm grateful for the inheritance I have. 
in the life, the inheritance of the saints, I have in the life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for bringing me into this. In- the, the privilege of salvation that you have. There are some that are, that are, hard, are, are hardened, that do not see the need of uh, They are hard hearted in, the, in their wickedness, in their sinful world. Like in the case of Pharaoh, Pharaoh had, was hardened by God himself to glorify himself, and the man perished in his own sin. But in your own case, it was never so. The Lord grant you the redemption, get that, the privilege to be partaken of the divine nature which is in him. Open your mouth and appreciate and say, Lord, I give you all the glory. Lord, I give you all the praise. Lord, I give you all the honor for all you've done for me, for the privilege of partaker, become a partaker of the inheritance of saint in the light. Lord, I give you all the praise. Lord, I give you all the glory. To you be 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 all the glory. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we give you all the glory. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. How do I bless it be your name? Eternal one, blessed be your name. Open your mouth and appreciate it because you have an eternal. And if you have not surrendered your life to Christ, this is the better point to do that. Surrender every, everything to Him before we begin to pray. Before we begin to declare, before we begin to put an end to the old of the wicked in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to appreciate you. Thank you for the redemption. Thank you for the redemptive work on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Thank you for forgiving me my sin. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus mighty name we pray you can see our inheritance are in christ jesus we are going to decree and ask the lord lord today i possess my inheritance i possess my inheritance he said upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and the sons of jeremiah shall possess the possession and the sons of john shall possess the possession and the sons of timothy shall possess the possession and the sons of jacob shall possess the possession Possession. Put the name, your name there, and I shall possess my possession. Open your mouth and begin to decree and begin to ask, Oh Lord, I possess my possession today. I possess my possession today. I possess my possession today. I take back my possession. I take back. I apply it. Eko savera da 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 da. Ramete kubara ba. Lokuda sabeleve. Zuparat a. I take back everything that belongs to me. I take back my glory. I take back my fame. I take back my glory. I take back everything that belongs to me. I take back my business. I take back my career. I take back my job. I take back my finance. I I possess my possession today. Open your mouth and pray. La shapa la de. Father, I take back my possession. I take back that which belongs to me. I take back my inheritance. My inheritance in Christ Jesus. And look, look at what the scripture says. In Jesus' name we pray. The scripture says, the scripture says, I beseech you. I beseech you above it. I beseech you above all things that it prosper. I wish, I wish. Uh, in first John, he said, I wish above all things that that prosper and be in good health, even as the super. That is said that good health is your possession. So sickness can are you sick in your body? Health is your inheritance. That is why you must claim it now. Claim it, claim it, claim it. Open your mouth and pray and say, Lord, I possess my health. I receive my health. I receive my health. In the name of Jesus, I receive my health. In the name of Jesus, I receive my health. In the name of Jesus, I receive my health. In the name of Jesus, I receive my health. In the name of Jesus, I receive my health. In the name of Jesus, I receive my health. Are you praying that prayer? Sickness is not of God. Sickness is not what God does. He said, I wish above everything that thou prosper and be in good health. It is the inner desire. It is the portion of the sign to be in good health and prosper in good health. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and pray. He said, and I was in Jeremiah. He said, and I 
I will send unto you a health and cure. Black Papa. Why, why, why did the Lord not say, I send unto you cure and health? Because health is your inheritance. Health is where you belong to. But when sickness comes, oh, you already have it, but I will cure you and bring permanent health. Open your mouth and begin to make a demand. I am not going to be sick. Sickness is not my portion. I am, I possess my inheritance of good health. Ah, uh, it's like a father that has already written a will concerning the children. The Bible, the entire Bible is God's will. God's will to his children. Open your mouth and pray. And say, Lord, I possess my possession. I possess my inheritance of health. I possess my inheritance of health. I possess my inheritance of health. In the name of Jesus, I possess my inheritance of health. I possess my inheritance of health. I possess my inheritance of health in the name of Jesus. Lord, I possess my inheritance. Lord, I possess my inheritance. Lord, I possess my inheritance. I possess my inheritance of health in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Remember what the scripture says? He said in Deuteronomy, he said, And ye shall be the head and not the head. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 6, And ye shall be the head and not the tail. There are, thousand, there, are, there, are there are multiple hundreds of promises of God concerning the form. Deuteronomy chapter 1 to chapter, from chapter, chapter 28, from verse, from, from verse 3 to verse 13, you will see the promises that God has, that what that belongs to you as an inheritance. After this prayer, you will still go and check that verse. That's that chapter of the Bible and see what directly belongs to you. Whatever that's happening in your life that is contrary to what is written in that scripture, then it's outside your inheritance. You're going to claim back your inheritance. You're going to pray and ask the Lord. Say, you shall be the head and not that is your inheritance to be the head and not the tail. No, not to be a mediocre, not to be a, me- a mediocre, but to be not to be a mediocre, but to be somebody that is the head. That was your inheritance. You're going to make a demand and ask the Lord, Oh Lord, me and my household in this second half of the year and not the day in the name of Jesus. Shut up, up. Ah, the Lord pray, the Lord pray, open your mouth and pray. Shaka parata, inka kaka parata, rafete tete bido, jusata ikuboro, kuskati di, zara pa 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 pa, brato kupa ide, rate tete bido, kuskata ide, malata di, makaba pa pa, bosho pa 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 pa, brate tete bido, mekato kupura, we lata tete bido, jusata di da, mekota parata, we paksa kapita, I possess my inheritance. I am the head, I'm not the tail. I am the head, I'm not the tail. Me and my asshole, we are the head, we are not the tail. We will lend to nations, I will not borrow. That is the promise, that is the inheritance of prosperity. Ah, I possess my inheritance. Beloved, open your mouth and pray. I possess my inheritance of prosperity. He said, that shall be blessed in the day, that shall be blessed in the night. The, the, the foot of your basket shall be blessed. The foot of your body shall be blessed. Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and declare. Lord, I possess my inheritance of fruitfulness. Ah, ekalakoba, japara that I makupa kapadam. Beloved, if you understand this scripture, if you understand the promises of God, what is your inheritance? The inheritance you have in Christ is you will pray. You will pray and ask the Lord. Lord, I possess my inheritance. I possess my inheritance of fruitfulness. I possess my inheritance of prosperity. I possess Possess my inheritance of good health. I possess my inheritance of better family. I possess my inheritance of good homes. I possess my inheritance of Christian, true Christian home. I look over Janatabia, Makwata Kaite, Imburakapa, Papa, 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 Edwa, Zalete Coparato, Yususakwatali, Ramela Coparacayo, Lukwata da Saparatapa, Erapele Caret, Zubata Capeletto, Manato Coparata, Incapaida, Fasata, Incapila Toporado, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I possess my inheritance, I possess my inheritance, I stand in my place as a Stone in the kingdom, and I put an end to every walk of darkness. To every say, look at verse 13. Verse 13 says, Who has delivered us from the power of darkness? 
darkness. Zappa, Father, Father, to now, daughter, Father, today, I decree every walk of darkness. I bring an end to him. I bring an end to him. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Every walk of darkness, every walk of darkness, you have the Christ as Christ, you have delivered me from the hand of the wicked. You have delivered me from the power of darkness, from the power of witchcraft, from the power of occultism. No, so then on I decree and I declare. In any area of my life, the, the works of darkness are manifesting the power. I d- delivered. I'm delivered today. I'm delivered today. In the name of Jesus, I claim my inheritance. I claim my inheritance of power over the works of darkness. Power, power over the power of darkness. I am delivered from the power of darkness. I am delivered from witchcraft oppression. I'm delivered from or uh, uh, we or God power. I'm delivered from a satanic hole. Every altar. Every altar holding back my inheritance in Christ. I decree today, let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon this altar. Shaba Ekopa. Shukukukukukuba. Brat. Let the fire, fire from the throne room come upon this altar now. Come upon this altar now. Be destroyed. Lose me and let a sheep alaka. Your inheritance is freedom. Total freedom. Yoke broken. And Jesus was speaking. He said, Lose him and let him go. That is your inheritance. We are supposed to be free. Like a free bed. Free. All that. The governor, governance of Christ. You're supposed to be free. I'm free. Say, it was why the Muslim man said free. It's free indeed. I possess my inheritance of freedom. Ah, Shapakapa. Holy Ghost help us. I possess it. My inheritance, I possess my inheritance of freedom. Open your mouth up. Is that the prayer? Beloved, this prayer is deep. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, Lord God of heaven, I possess my inheritance of freedom. 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 I possess my inheritance of freedom in the name of Jesus. Oh, the scripture said, he said, the, the, the kings and the queens shall be the nursing fathers, shall be the nursing Mother, Ata Padra Paya, a Shapa Kapaka, a product is the inheritance of favor. That is the inheritance of divine help, causing me, even the kings and the queen, to help you. Ah, I possess my inheritance of divine help. I possess my div- inheritance of helpers. I possess my inheritance of helpers. I possess it today. I possess it today. Father, we give you all prayer. I possess my inheritance of health. I possess my inheritance of finance. I possess my inheritance of prosperity. I possess my inheritance of power. Power over the works of darkness. Power over the, 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 the wicked one. Power over principality. Power over... Yeah. This is, uh, as long as you are in this place, this cannot work for you. This cannot work for you. Because you are from this tribe, there is an embargo on this tribe. Because you are in this locality, there is an embargo on Locality because you are this because you are this, you belong, you belong to this gender. There's embargo on that gender. No, it cannot be because Christ has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of, in the in, in the kingdom of life where every child, everyone is entitled to what has belonged to light. Oh Father, I decree to them. Every embargo placed on my life by the reason of where I get married to, every embargo placed upon my life by the reason of my tribe, every embargo placed on my life by the reason of my state, every embargo placed on my life by the reason of my gender, every embargo placed upon my life by the reason of my locality, every embargo placed on my life by the reason of my community or my nation or my state, I decree in the name name of Jesus, I am delivered. I am delivered. And from today, I will break forth on us. Sir. Open your mouth and decree that. Open your mouth and decree. Every embargo over your finance. Every embargo over your progress. Every embargo over your health. Every embargo over your life. Today, today, it is broken. Today, it is scattered. Today, it is scattered. It is scattered. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your Open your mouth and begin to appreciate the Lord. Because your inheritance you have received. You have received your inheritance in Christ. You have received your inheritance in Christ. Christ has given us our inheritance and we have received them tonight. We have received them this afternoon. We have received them this morning. No matter what they go, anytime you are in the nation where you are, receive your inheritance. Tell the Lord, the Lord, I receive my inheritance today. I receive my inheritance today. Thank you, Father. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. I give you all the praise. I give you all the no, no, no. Blessed be your name. Father, we want to appreciate you because you have given us an inheritance in the among the saints and today we possess our, our inheritance. We possess our inheritance of good health. We possess our inheritance of authority and power over the works of darkness. We leave our inheritance over the wicked one. We receive our inheritance of prosperity for, for freedom, good health. We receive them all over our family, our loved one, our asshole now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because of answer. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. For in Jesus' mighty, mighty, mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you, beloved. And the Lord puts and remember you possess your inheritance from this day henceforth. In the name of Jesus.